Jose Mourinho, a master, a genius, and 100% a winner. He's conquered it all from Spain to England and even Italy. However, for me, his biggest achievement that defines him as the special one is when he won the Champions League with Porto in 2004. Today, we'll be grabbing Jose Mourinho and putting him in today's current FC Paul side to see if he can work his magic and win them the Champions League once again. Let's go, Jose. So here he is then. The special one is back in Portugal with Porto. He left Roma in Serie A to help with this special historic club back to Champions League glory. Let's check out the squad. Now looking at the team here, it ain't too bad, but definitely needs some work and improvements to go for the Champions League and further success. Standout players like Diego Costa in goal, Pepe the veteran at the back, Taremi the goal scorer and the Brazilian Angelino are all dead cert to stay at this club. But with Josie back in the team, and in Porto, we need to make some harsh decisions and improve the team for the future. Before we decide to sell and buy players, I want to sort the core of this team to suit Jose's needs. So I did a little bit of research online, ladies and gentlemen, and I found that Jose Marino's winning side formation was the 4-3-1-2 formation. With a defensive minded tactic played with a long ball approach for the attackers. So what I have done, I've gone for the kick and rush tactical vision, as I feel like that falls into the right category for Jose Marino's needs. So with all that in play now though, this is the team that I've gone for in the 4-3-1-2 formation and as you can see for yourselves, it needs pretty much work everywhere except the defence. I feel like the defence can definitely hold up for under the first season under Jose Mourinho. The question is though, who are we going to sign in the midfield department and the striker roles? So with only 20 million to play with the season, we started to flush out massive players within the team and some players that just didn't really cut out. Just like people like Tony Martinez to Juventus for 8.7 million, Ivan Mercado to Lazio for 1.8 million, Pepe to Liverpool for 24.2 million, big loss there but has to be done for the money, Romario Borrella to Burnley for 3.5 mil, Stefan Isquasco, I don't know how to pronounce that name, but for 12.2 mil, and lastly, Danny Loder to Salzburg for 4.2 million. So with our budget around the 73 million mark, we got in with our new striker coming into the team. He's tearing up in real life. We got him on a free swap and that is Victor Boniface from Leverkusen the German league the German team have let this man go he's been absolutely tearing apart there being more of the highlight actual standard individual in that league over Harry Kane that's just gone to Bayern he comes out at number nine with a straight swap deal with Navarro our other striker on a free what a deal for Jose welcome Boniface next signing ladies and gentlemen the second signing under Jose and Porto is going into the Premier League with a very strong side in Everton and that is Romano Onana, the Belgian, the 21 year old, 76 overall, is coming into the team for a whopping 8 million with a swap deal with Marco Grusic. Bit more of a defensive player, we need that standout kind of yeah yeah toy Patrick Vieira type of vibey player in there. Six foot four beast, Onana needs a better team, so that's why he's with Jose at Porto. Welcome, big Onana. And lastly, ladies and gentlemen, we have gone massive. Massive in Paolo Dybala. You're probably thinking this is not realistic at all. But him linking back up with Jose Mourinho from Roma to Porto. We made it happen. But what I did to make this happen, ladies and gentlemen, was whacking 60 million. But with also Galino in the swap. Though, yes, I did say I didn't want to get rid of him. He was a dead cert. But I couldn't say no to Paolo Dybala in that camera behind Torini and Bonnie face. It's going to be absolutely deadly. And the new number 10. I don't know why he's got the Madrid shirt on. And then the technical glitcher from EA Sports. But he is going to absolutely tear up in the Portuguese league. He's the man to watch. He's the one to get us the trophies. Welcome, Big Palo. So with the brand new players being added to the team, like Onana, Dybala and also Bonnie Face, we can now have a look at the season objectives from the board. And they are as they stand. Youth development signed three players from younger 20. We haven't got anything completed there. I'm not really going to bother to this one in this career mode. Yes, I know Porto. And like the likes of Benfica, Sport and CP really heavily develop on the youth development. But I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that in this challenge here today, ladies and gentlemen. I just want to focus on the Champions League and going through there. Brand exposure, though. Let's have a look at this one. Let's deal into this one. Get a streak of seven games without to be at home. Pretty confident thing. And sign two players from South America. One or two. Fair enough. Nothing too major right there. Domestic the SSO, they want us to win the league and win the cup. Fair enough. And Continental reached the quarterfinals. I think these are definitely achievable. But like I said, just mentioned before, with Sporting and also Benfica. Just on our tails, a three-way title battle, it seems like. Anything can happen. But right, fair ado, ladies and gentlemen, I think we have wrapped up right here with the start of Season 1. The question is now, and all that's left to do, is see how we get on to the end of the season. So without fair ado, ladies and gentlemen, 
with a similar to the end. And I'll see you in a moment. Let's go. Here we go. So here we have it then, ladies and gentlemen. We have simulated all the way to the end of the first season with Joe Samir and SC Paul. The question is, how did we get on? Let's have a look to the right here. And we have potentially won the league. Okay. There is one game remaining. We are at home for Sport and CP. Our arch rivals with Benfica as well are just on a tail, especially SP Sporting right there. We've got to win this game. Let's just get right into it right here. We have got some stuff here, but we'll sort that out after we get past this fixture right here. On the quick sim, hopefully we could do it. Let's have a look here. We'll have a look at the squad as well. Quick sim. Can we do it? Can Josie do it? And we can. With Paolo Dybala with the brace at the end as well. And we have picked up our first trophy of the season. The question is, are we in the cup as well? We are. We are in the cup against Benfica in the Targa Portuguesa Cup right there. Unbelievable scenes. We could be on for the double. But before we get into that, though, let's have a look. Look at that look from Paulo Dybala right there. Let's have a look at the squad here and see if anyone stands out. Let's have a little gander. And I can only see Paulo Dybala. Everson. Mm, that's very interesting. No Tarani. I'm guessing he might have gone in January. Dybala with only 18 goals and Boniface with only 7 goals. Bit of a weak start for him, but he has grown massively right there. We'll look at on this screen here. Oh, Nana going up, going his preferred position. But look at the team, though. Like I said, no Torini and no other centre mid. The 66 overall has gone in. So let's have a quick look here at the transfer history for our club. Let's have a look. So has anyone gone there? So Ramos has gone to Baskar there, the Turkish lead. Gonzalez there. Is there a centre mid there, right there? I had to keep in 22 eight years old, but also win in January for 26 minutes to row. So she dad to really full Atletico Madrid on a free transfer. Big loss right there. But other than that, not too shabby indeed. We can easily replace him right there, especially with the 26.4 for season two. Very far ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get into the Benfica game. See if we can get that win as well on the quick sim on the brace. And who knows? Maybe we got into the Champions League final. I doubt it, but you never know. So here we have it then, Benfica in the final. Can we do the double on the quick sim right here? Both fantastic teams. Let's see what happens here. Can we do it? Was Benfica to get one? We have done it. I am Jose Mourinho. And it is Boniface with the goal. Jose in his first season returns back to Porto with a brace. Question is, how did we get in the Champions League? I don't think we would have got there, but there it is, their confirmation of the cup. We've got it right there. So let's have a look at the Champions League. Did we do quite well there in that department? Where did we come? Real Madrid v PSG final. That's, you know, I mean, we expect that to be there with them two giants. Where did we finish though? It's not looking good, is it? So we got knocked down the round of 16-2. Oh, fair enough. It was Real Madrid on 4-1 on Agra and 2-1 in the second leg. Not too bad for a first season though. I mean, two trophies and getting just knocked out of the Champions League by the very dominant Real Madrid. Looking at the inbox here, though, there's a lot of things to go over. We've got player chats here, left, right, and centre. We're just going to quickly do this. We've got, I was going to say, a lot of people are going to be complaining, like Gary Vianney. don't want to keep him. But he's obviously not too happy, not getting enough game time right there through the quick sim. But we'll go over this all in the second season, obviously. But let's get back into the actual squad hub so we can have a bit more of a deep dive of some of the players. So we've got Varela here, 22, 8 overall going up. Bonnie face. How did he do in the cup runs? I mean, not too bad. Four games, one goal, one assist. Needs to be a little bit better next season, but gone up by a massive amount right there. So maybe it's suggestive from Derek Cornwell there. That's a bit annoying indeed. A lot of work. Same with Wendo. So a lot of players do want to leave the club. So next season, there could be a lot of signs right there. But for ever ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get into season two. A fantastic, really decent season in season one for Jose. What has season two got in store for us, though? I'll see you in a mo. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Season 2 has arrived with Jose and Porto. And this season, we want to potentially go for the Champions League. I mean, why not? We won the double. And with this team, with a couple of more signings as well, it could be going massively far. Massively far indeed. For the likes of Carmel and Wendo handed in transfer requests last season, we need to get them gone. But we have got a nice comfortable 56 million. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, Let's see if we can get in for Season 2 with Jose. So, ladies and gentlemen, the first sign for Season 2 is going to be Chris Smalling. He is linked back up with Jose Mourinho. We've gone for another Roma player, first Dybala, but now Chris Smalling. He comes in around the 12.7 million mark. We did try to swap him out for a defender that has been requested to leave the club, but he got rejected from Roma. So, 
we just went in with money instead and we'll collect the money from karma i do believe that we'll be selling keep getting mixed up with the center backs they've got very similar back names i must say right there but the new number three comes to the club reunited with jose once again the first one on season two is there going to be any more or are we going to see anyone leaving the club who knows let's find out come on so guys with a center mid leaving last season we need a brand new one so christian comes into the team absolute baller from boca juniors in argentine comes into the midfield 77 overall coming in around the 23 million mark it's going to be an absolute unit linking up with the rest of the team just in behind dibala as well bit of a skillful player from boca juniors the argentine he comes in to josie's team so ladies and gentlemen it looks like it is going to be a sad day on the transfers for portal we've lost our best player to arsenal for 80 million they came with an offer and i just couldn't refuse it's just going to help us financially all over the park and we could definitely get a high rate goalkeeper like the likes of De Gea, Kalo Navas that's high rated that is going to be low on price but it gets even worse Chelsea have come in with the release clause for Onana we tried off him a contract and he refused it so he has gone there for 36 million same with Carmo and also Wendo because they have asked to leave in the last season however though the good news about this though we have got a whopping 131 million to play with with this side it is going to be very tasty indeed who we can get in a lot of placements need to be replaced let's see who we get come on so i said i can get a goalkeeper that's high rate then we have with kevin trapp from frankfurt 85 overall 34 years old and only eight minutes would we'll definitely take it he signed a two-year deal as well so he's no he's not going anywhere which is every very nice for us very 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 nice indeed so the question is can he compete with some of the keepers in this league i think he can even at being that age i think he's gonna be very good indeed and like i said at eight million you can't go wrong our new number one is in in kevin trap who else are we gonna get in let's find out arteta might take my goalkeeper but i've just took in their best center back in william saliba he absolutely had Haaland in his back pocket the other day it's unrealistic but we don't give a shit because we're jose marino his name speaks for himself saliba he wants the easy he wants to collect the bag he comes in for the round a whopping 17 million definitely going to be the sign of the season i can know after a doubt with big chris morlin and kevin trapp at the back we need that big defensive line to contest for the champions league big number four saliba is in an absolute ball of the frenchman who else are we gonna get so let's go on. The next on it again is a mega star. We need him. Tony Cruz is in the centre mid row with the midfield. If we want to go for the Champions League, we need experience. And the 34 year old man coming in for around the 25 million mark is definitely going to give us that to contest for the Champions League this season. Season two, already going for the Champions League. Is it a bit far fetched? Is it a bit of a push? I don't know. I reckon we could do it with the players we got on the team. It is looking saucy. We are cooking under Jose. New number eight absolute bags of experience in the Champions league and in football an absolute club legend in the game welcome tony cruz and so later on the last signing of season two he used to play for this club before he went to wolves from porto and that is fabio so it didn't really work out for him so we brought him in as a rotation as we do need a backup striker badly for everson and boniface so he comes in he's he gonna do the business the new number nine why not give it to him could be a big super sub Come on, Fabio Silva. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is the team for season two. The question is, let's have a look of our objectives for the season. So looking at the youth development, obviously we're not going to do that. So we're going to dodge that one. Brad Exposure gets 15 games with at least one goal scored in the home matches this season. I reckon we could definitely do that. Sign two players from North America. Just going to dodge that one as well. Financially, absolutely fine. Domestic success, obviously. Pretty much copy and paste it. Win the league, win the cup, and also reach the quarters in the in the champions league which this one i'm gonna say i reckon we can reach the final i mean with this team it could be possible you never know so right fair ado ladies gentlemen i will see you at the end of season two and let's see how paul and josie have got on so here we have it in the end of season two and oh god look where we are we're in the semi-finals oh, against yeah. psg in the champions league this first leg it seems was two all away which is a very good result for portal normally in the last season i stopped on the last game of the season in the actual league I must have gone a bit too far. And look where it's happened. It's paid off. We've got to the semi-finals. Let's have a look at the league table, though, in the Portuguese league before we get into I mean, look at the next game, though, as well. It looks like it could be Man City in the final if we do get past the mighty PSG. We are definitely the underdogs with the four teams remaining. Let's have a look at the Portugal league. Yeah, and we came fourth. 
prefer not to comment because it's not uh so not the best season for us right then but boy an actual dramatic moment well if we don't win this we not be be in the champions league for next season how did we get on in the actual cup tie in the portuguese if i speak i am in in big trouble we got knocked out of that so it could literally be the end of this challenge day gentlemen but we have to get past the champions league it's literally the only way we can win it this season because he might be getting to the europa league next season which we definitely do want that will be a backtrack for jose and portugal got non in boxes here let's have a look at this before we get into the game andrew franco's unhappy saliba progress players suspended captaincy franco loan offer it obviously may not be too happy yada yada we'll get into that in a second but we got to focus on the second leg. We're going to play both games, especially, well, I'll say both games. We've got to get past PSG first. We're going to play the semi finals, and who knows? It's going to be Liverpool or Man City in the final. Let's find out. Let's get into the lineups. So, let's go. This is the lineup today against PSG in the Champions League semi final second leg at home. And you're probably wondering to yourself, where the hell is all your good players? You've had a shocker. I will tell you now the reason why Kevin Trapp is our captain over Dive Bar because look at our team. Tony Cruz, knackered, Saliba, knackered, Medina, red card, needs to drop to the bench actually. And same with Diabala, so many tired legs. I mean, the odds are definitely against us right here. Before we get into it though, let's have a look at the tactical visions and see who their key players are for PSG. So it looks like PSG are going to be playing the 4 for 3 holding with Mbappé, Bruno, Dembele, Lee Chanin, Grotesca, Hoiberg, Bokinios, Masri, Donnarumma, Skriniar and Akuna at the back. And looking at the defence as well, unbelievable. Indeed, they actually signed Spurs' new wonder boy in Odogi in the left back role there on the substitutions. But look at that tactical vision. You would think their key attacking player would be Mbappe, but it isn't. It is Bruno Gomorrez and their defensive player. They got that one right in Marquinhos. So playing the gene on pressing here, which, which is trying to win the ball back quite quick in the opponent third. Clever and quick. Near enough there on the chance creations. Not too bad. But I reckon we could definitely be him on the counter. But with the lineup we have today, it's a bit weak. The odds are against us. Let's see how we get on. So here we have it then. You probably won't hear the Champions League music, so I'm going to get done for bloody copyright. We can't do that. Oh, what a shocker. But big Josie there with the PSG manager shaking his hand. No wins. He needs a tactical genius today from his squad. A very weak team. But can we do it against PSG and the mighty Kylian Mbappe? Come on, boys. So here we have it then. FC Porto versus PSG in the semi-finals. Who's going to come out on top? Come on, boys. Us in the blue and white and PSG in their famous colours as well. Come on. And this morning plays it out wide. Like I said, we have got the weaker side, so... And I know their key player is saying Bruno Gamora's, but it is Mbappe. We've got to watch him. But Jermaine's got a bit of room on the edge of the box. It goes to the finesse shot here, Donnarumma. Just catches it comfortably. The first shot on target goes to Porter, though. Not too bad. Lee can in. Goes to Mbappe. He gets past one. Absolutely frightening player when you give him the ball. Goes out wide to Lee can in. Lee Cannon bounces past one. Goes to Cortesca. Mbappe. Lovely step. Was, where the hell are you going? The turtle man. What's he doing? Goes into Dembele. It's 1-0. Oh, it's 1-0. I nearly said 1-0 then. But I was thinking about the uh, the aggregate. But it's 3-2 to PSG, ladies and gentlemen. This is not good. We expected this with a weaker side. But we have got the man on the bench in Jose Marino. Can he wake up this side? Got to go for it, boys. Come on. Radio 1 0 down. Come on. Ball out wide. To do. Goes inside to Bonnie face. Bonnie face. Step over left side to central. Goes back inside. Everson's kind of let down Bonnie face though. Bonnie face seems to be the one that's up for it. See the pace and movement he had there from them steppers. He wants it bad. Regardless of what happens, I'm proud of the boys anyway. So is Jose. For getting in the semi finals in Jose's second season, it's incredible. Mbappe being absolutely caught out there for Cardoso. Now the centre back's got a lead charge. Centre back keeps going here. He's into Boniface. Ah, oh, we can't get past Makina. So unlucky. Mbappe's through now. Mbappe, what's he going to do here? Steps inside, gets past Smallin. Bruno Gamares, Dembele, twisting and turning, and it's two 0 down. What? What is this? Oh, this ain't good. This is not good. 2-0 down. We've got a weaker side. This is the problem. The stamina has really bit in the ass with the simulation games leading up to the second leg of the PSG game. We need a miracle. Come on. All right, come on, boys. I know we've got a weaker side, but we need to go for this. 30 minutes in, and we're 2-0 down. So probably the three of us to win the Champions League this season. Go on, wake up, man. 
And Jermaine Farrell, there's a ball right through there straight away. Kirby Everson here, we've got to score this here. Everson going for the ding, but I thought Donnarum was going to push out. But it just wasn't meant to be. Probably should have whacked it one there. Donnarum goes out wide to Dembele though. Quick kick from him. Hoiberg. Inside to Bruno. Bruno. Lovely play from PSG. This can't not even touch him. Can't get near him because this release is so quick. Grotesca here. Still Grotesca. He chant in. Well done for Joe Mara. Can we get someone now? Can we get a bit of attack going on here now? Everson. Going for the one two with Gabriel Viron. No Dybala. Gonna run through here. He's having a poor game. He's having a very poor game. Needs to wake up him. Rooney Gamaras. Rooney Gamaras finds Mbappe inside. Mbappe trying to run through on goal here. Gives it into Grotesca. Grotesca running from Smalling. Come on. Half time is approaching and the ref has blown it with no added time. Fair enough indeed. But 2 0 down. The odds are massively against us now to bring this back. I mean, I'll happily go to 2 all perhaps and go to extra time and take it there. But we really need to wake up. Jose needs a massive talk in the tunnel and the dressing rooms to his players. But 2 0 down. Can we do it? I'll let you know for many changes. Radio second half has begun and Josie and myself have not decided to change anything. They're believing in the team that they can get someone out of this. We're at home. We've got the home advantage. We've just got to believe in ourselves. We've just got to go for it a bit more. Come on. All right. Ball goes into Boniface here. Boniface on the ball. Can he get a bit of ball roll through there? Does to Gabriel Veron. Keeps it alive, Gabriel Veron. Goes inside to Everson. Can he get the shot if he can't? But Boniface has still captured the ball down to Loom. Bad ball. Terrible ball. Tell him to turn. Didn't do it. Can we win it back straight away though? We can't. Mbappe is trying to run through. We're better attackers. Mbappe. I'm not allowing it. Went from Cordaro Does really well. Bit of a rotation of there with Saliba this season. It seems them really well. Keep it alive. Good pass inside as well to Boniface. Boniface. Gabriel Vieira. Oh, we need Dybala there. We really need Dybala there. Boybo. Marquinhos. Grotesca on the ball now. What's he going to do here? Twisting and turning. Gives it back to Hoiberg. Get the challenge there. We can't. Advantage for PSG, it seems. Obviously, a bit of a nick there from one of our players. Rooney Gamaras inside the Hoiberg. Well done. Now on the counter attack. Come on. On the counter attack here now. Come on, boys. Let's get this goal. Good turn there. Everton could be through here. Bit of pace on the Brazilian. Keeps battling here. Can find Boniface. We can. Still alive here. Jermaine going out wide here. Boniface is calling for it in the middle. Boniface is there! Run from Boniface, grab the ball. It is possible for a comeback. Marcel and Jose believe the man, the Nigerian, has stepped up. He looks like Oshiman. But we've got our aerial one in Boniface. Good diving out of there. Come on. Radio 2 1 down in the 70th minute. Is it possible for us to make a massive, unreal comeback here? The underdog story. Is it alive once again? Happened in 2004. Is it going to happen again? In 2023 or 2004, where a bloody year is in. Mbappe on the boys, he's gonna deny the dream. Cuts inside. Grotesca, good save. Get out! We do get out here. Yeah. Still alive. Oh, Gabby Vron, you're terrible, you shit. Get out. Square auto attack has been applied. We need a goal. Goes into Dembele. Good challenge there from Sadubu. Can we get a bit of a pass down line? It's a very audacious one to Boniface. But he gets it there. Varela. Running through here. Boniface is on the wing. I can see Boniface running late here. Boniface. Can he score? Boniface! Despair for Guardiola. Joy. He's done it! It's 2 all. 4 all on aggregate. It's him again. The Nigerian AK. Oshiman. He has done it. The man from Bundesliga has gone to Porto. It's a fantastic finish. We thought we got it late there on the shot, but we didn't. It's a great finish. We're back in it. Radio, back to balance. Can we create history here? Can we do something magical? Still time to get a goal. Mbappe on the ball. Smalling does well. Surely not. 1-2 here. Bit of a fake out there. Goes over the top, but it's a really bad ball. A terrible ball again from the cam. There's a reason why I don't bloody play her. Grotesca into Mbappe. Chris Moore being caught out there. Lee Chan in. Not late guess. Mbappe looking for it there. 
We're just going to kick out here. Just get out. We'll take extra time. And what a game. Extra time. I said I would take two or to go to extra time. And my wish came true. And so did Jose's. I can't believe it. We brought it back from the depths with the main man, Boniface. Unbelievable. Then Betty with a brace. Boniface with a brace. Two all. Extra time is on. Radio two substitutions. Everson is gone off for Fabio Silva. And also, Franco has gone for Veron in the cam row. Well, Jermaine with the ball here. Running down the wing. A chance here. But there are the substitutions there, Joan. But hang on just a second. Could be a chance here. Goes inside to Boniface. Good touchdown from Boniface. Went for the shot there. But goes out for a corner. Unlucky. But it's safe to say we definitely know who man of the match is today in Boniface. We're going to try and get him on the near post here. Six foot four presence. Why not? Going to try and flick it back inside, but couldn't do it. Oh, hello. And Don really catches it. Unlucky. Rene Gamarez. And Bappi's had a shocker there. We could be through here with Fabio Silva. Gets brought off the ball there. Lovely strength from Fabio Silva. Oh, what's he done that for? <laughs> what's he done that for? I didn't ask him to do it. He just fell on his ass. Oh, I can't believe it. Shocking there. We should have done better there. That was the chance, I think. That was the chance. Lee can in. Goes into Akuna Matata. The Argentine. Goes into killing Mbappe. Mbappe. What can you do? Just hold him up, Sorn. And you had a pocket all day. Oh, he's got past him there. Back to Mbappe. Lovely play this. Bruno Gamora is a late bit challenge from us. It's done well. And I think that's going to be the end of the first extra half. And it is. 15 minutes left towards penalties. Crazy. Absolutely crazy game. What a semi final this is. We just got to push a little bit more, lads. That's all I ask from you. And we can make history here. Come on. Radio, no changes from myself. Come on. There's something in this. I know there is. There's definitely going to be another goal. But is it going to be for PSG or Porto? He chant in. Goes into Mbappe. Mbappe, don't let him do this to us. Tactical. Oh, what a from Cordoso. What a challenge that is. Unbelievable. Fabio Silva is there. Can we get something going now? Come on. Over the top run there. It is on there. It's a ball through. Dig it in. Back in. Is it? Oh, for God's sake. Poor body face. He just cannot get the ball delivered to it. That was it again. Kick out there to Kulumiani. Into Mbappe. Mbappe's doing so well, but Chris Morning. And Cordoso are doing so well to just pull him out. Boniface, give him the ball and he will shine. Boniface trying to run through here. He's Liam Wolf for dead. Finds Fabio Silva. This could be it. Fabio Silva! Oh my god, he's missed! Jesus Christ. Oh, how have you missed that? Oh, I can't believe it. It's absolute drama. He's had a shocker. That was it. That was it. There's a lot of boos and whistles, and I'll tell you what, I might bloody join in, because he's got to score that. One, oh, it's going to go one last attack, but it's a penalty shootout. It is a penalty shootout to determine the Champions League finalist. That was it. There's a reason why they sold to the Wolves, and I'm the idiot that brought him back. Penalty shootouts, come on. Oh, I don't think I'm ready for this. Come on, Silver. Get it in. Oh, Don River saved it. Oh, Mbappe, yeah. And he scored. 1 0 to PSG. Boniface, he don't blame this. The Nigerian. Boniface. And Donovan saved it. You've got to be kidding me. We saved it, though. Come on, we're still alive. Jermaine. Scores. Come on. It's still alive. Tensions for Portal here. It's a save from Kevin Trapp. Come on. Down the middle, boys. Mario, we scored. 2-1. Come on. Kulamiane. Kevin Trapp, can he be the hero? He does go the right way, but just going to the corner. Varela, number 22 here. He scores. I think it's sudden death, boys. If we save this, we are in a final. Bruno Gamarez. Oh, it's a, he's gone the right way. Oh, for God's sake. Franco, number 20. Goes in. Come on. We've guessed the way. We just can't get down to the bloody ball. Ugarte, number four. Can he do it? And we've done it. I'll tell you what, though, folks. That's bloody nice. The odds were against us. It was bloody a million to one. The comeback and everything. But we are in a final with Jose Mourinho and Porto. I can't believe it. What a game. 
What a game that was. The odds were massively against us. We bought it with Fabio Silva right at the end. But Kevin Trapp finally used his bloody gloves and dives the right way. He grabs it. He hits it on the post, but he gives a shit. He's made the save and we're in a bloody final. What a game that is right there. Unbelievable. Is it Liverpool or is it City though? Let's get into it. So ladies and gentlemen, it looks like it is Man City in the final. The reigning champions against a team that was being absolutely being writ off throughout the entire of this is in the final. But I just want to quickly show you something. This is absolutely mad. Sim laying up to it. We won on penalties against PSG as we just saw. Then we beat Real Madrid on penalties in the quarterfinals. Round of 16, ladies and gentlemen, we won 4-3 on Agra against Barcelona. The odds are against it. We've had some of the best teams in the world. And we have absolutely just got through them somehow. Unbelievable stuff. I mean, this is an absolute fairy tale story. It literally could be repeating itself with history with Josie and Porto. Let's get into the lineups and into the final. So here we have it then, the pre-match report. As you can see, again, I mean, it happened with Mbappe. It hasn't done it with Haaland, but their star players are actually Phil Foden and Bernardo Silva. And they have the same type of tactics as PSG. So we're kind of expecting the same here. Obviously, probably Man City being the upper nth and oomph because obviously they're in the final. But look at the team. It's not that really that strong. I mean, it is strong, but they got this weird Cam in Prestatini. Is he going to prove me wrong? He is in over De Bruyne and Rodrigo in the camera right there. Baldi from Barcelona, Holland, Bales, Ruben and Kabori right there. Not a bad team, but it is the man to watch in Holland. It looks like... Gardo's got a red card in the final, which is very nice indeed. Maybe that's why Harwood Bellis is in there. So he's probably the one to exploit in that position. But looking at our lineup, though, we all know it. I don't really need to deep dive right into it right here. We're going to go and kick off. And here is our lineup. The main team is back with Medina, Varela, Cruz, Dybala, Evelyn, Boniface. Hopefully, you never know. It might be a bit easier in the final against Man City. Who knows? Who's going to come out on top? Let's find out. So here we have it then. Pep Guardiola versus Jose Mourinho. The rivals in the Champions League final. Who's going to come out on top? City or Porto? Come on there, lads. You couldn't write it, could you? Jose Mourinho versus Pep Guardiola. Absolute rivals. Playing with Barcelona when they used to play football together. But you could argue the two best managers of world football ever. You could say it. For me, Jose is the best of all time. I love him. And some people can say Ferguson, Klopp. Pep Guardiola, who's going to come out top here today, though? You find out. Come on. Ready on. Continue to just pass the ball around the back because I'll be doing that. Oh, that's not good, though. Not a best ball there from Saliba. Better there from him. I was going to say, nothing was already happening, but boy, doing it. Getting closer and closer. Tony Cruz there, the veteran. Going to be potentially retiring, but what a career he would have there. Get a Champions League with Porto under Jose. Joe Mario there in to Medina. Gives it inside there to Varela. Going for the long shot here against Edison. And he piles it out for a corner. Unlucky, good chance. Right, Paolo Tabata on the corner. Wasn't in the last game, but he was very proud of his boys in the trusting room. Just to say that. He's got his hand to lift the Champions League trophy today. Refire wide here. Not the best one there. It goes in to Phil Foden. Foden does well. Tony Cruz intercepts the ball, though. Good ball into the box here. A little flick inside there. Very nice. Goes to Medina, goes for the half volley and it goes past the post. Unlucky indeed, but looking good. So perhaps I may have should have changed the kits perhaps because it is a little bit of a cut class, like blue on blue, but it's not too bad. I hope it's uh, suitable for the viewers watching at home. But we just have to roll with the flow. Rodri on the ball here now. Very underrated player. One of the best Spanish players of all time, I'm going to say. He is ridiculously good in that DM row. Alan on the ball here now, big in Norwegian. The robot cut inside and he's put it wide. You expect him to score that there. We're getting past that there. Defender with that audacious step over here. But there's a chance here from one of our players. And Edison with a brilliant save. Take game so far. And we're just going to run down the wing here from that short free kick with the duo here. Just reels. Edison was uh, invisible on that highlight replay. Typical EA right there. Number 23 though. I'm looking at Bonnie face in that back post. Mr. Oshi man. Haircut. He's going for it now. I can see him going for it. Doesn't get it to him though. Unlucky. Pristini. Win it back here. Well from Joe Morrow. Pass it inside to Tony Cruz. We all know what he's got in his locker. Inside there to Medina. Oh, his own player gets in the way of him there. That's very annoying. Cat out the way. Pristini trying to get past Chris Bourne, but he's been so good, man. So good. To do it. 
We're into Tony Cruz again. Tony Cruz, then three, three minutes in now though. No goal so far. It's a massive switch on there. Can he get it into Boniface? It's a good touch there to Boniface. A bit of tight angle here. Still alive. Oh, oh I had to try it. I had to try it. I thought we might got really fortunate there, but it was unlucky from Boniface. Unlucky man. Radio, 37 minutes in now though. Like I said, no goals. Got to be something in this game. Very slow so far. Considering the PSG game was, well, you saw it for yourself. Just high tempo, ridiculously massive game. Tony Cruz interception there though. Coming through here. Boniface making the run over the top there. Boniface will get it, touch it down and finds it. It's him again. It's him again, the man with the blonde hair. Six foot four, Boniface puts us one the up in the Champions League against Man City. I said that the face looked a little bit weak with only Ruben Diaz being the highlighted player there. But it's an easy old boy, to be fair, it was against him, but a touchdown, no closing down from Edison. And we're one the up in the final, just like that. So one the up just before the break. Unbelievable scenes. Unbelievable. I mean, I really expected potentially to go into three or four seasons with this poor Torino chance today, but it's only taken us two seasons with the team we had. I did think we could do it, but don't speak too soon because Iron Phil is on the ball here. He could ruin my dreams and we could progress this into three or four seasons yet. This one's as well. They're just going to get this ball out. It's not going to allow us because the ref has blown it. But yeah, I mean, we could get this done in two seasons if we win today and get the Champions League. That's the main objective. I mean, we've got the original choice from the first season, but what a start for the final. Boniface makes it 1-0 with that lovely half volley in the 41st minute. I'll let you know for many changes. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the second half has begun. No changes from Jose Mourinho. I mean, why should he? Why should he? We've been absolutely fine. We've been kind of been pushing out Pellegrini and Haaland and Phil Fona and Bernardo Silva, so why not? Like we just seen there. Well done indeed, come on. Right, ball goes out wide from number 12 here. To do. Try and go for the overlapping run here. Does get it. You get the ball into the box now. Goes into Everson. Now from Prevail from Met. Tony Cruz. Can he win it down? We can. Long shot City here. Still alive. Dybala. Still alive again. Medina on the shot here. Good save from Edison. Again, Medina with the shot on target. We're absolutely just pumping him with shots on target. Fair play if any bookies have backed that today because they've had a stormer with the wins there potentially. De Bruyne into De Bruyne. De Bruyne into Haaland. That is the dynamic duel. No one wants to go against here. Saliba. Did a bit of a tactical foul against Bernardo Silva. Fair play. Didn't mess it up. But it did stop a potential dangerous attack here. Number 10 is coming on for Predatini. Big Jack Grealish here on the piss up in Ibiza. Can he? Be the difference maker from Man City. I don't know on the free kick. Very strange. Boniface does well there. Such a good player. Right on the ball here. Needs an option. Just pulling it back. Look at that. was unbelievable from him. Pollard to ball. A player we need to use a little bit more this game. Being a little bit quiet, the captain. Good overlap and run there. Goes back into by Baller and Baldi, the Brazilian does. Brazilian? The uh, Barcelona player I meant to say there. Does really well. So 70 minutes are on the ball now and still just 1-0. Bernardo Silva working the play here. What is he going to do? Bernardo Silva working inside to Rodri. The goal scorer in the last Champions League final for Man City. Jack Grish putting it back to Erlen Haaland here. Haaland just holding him up. Well done for Tadu. Well done. Can we get something going now? Can we kill the game? Dybala make the run my man. Dybala could be through on goal here. Paolo Dybala can he kill the game? The captain, go for the dink and I've had an absolute shocker. Why have I done that for? I really don't know why I did that to be honest. But I thought Edison was going to charge me, but he didn't. I've had a mare. Uh, a lot of whistles there to die by but I feel bad for him because it wasn't his fault. It was my fault, the, the twat play in the game. I've had a mare. Nunes, is that going to bite me in the ass with my terrible decision making there? Phil Phil and I am Phil. Running through the middle, number 47. Matthew Nunes. What can he do now? Running from Saliba. That's where we brought him in. Barella here. Just going to run a defence. Come on. Dybala, make the run. There's someone. Boniface will, though. Good boy to Boniface. Could be on there. Boniface! Damn. He's on sides. It's him again. And I think that's it, ladies and gentlemen. I think we have just finished this challenge with the Champions League title with Jose. I can't believe it. I thought Boniface was offside. But I need enough second chance this season after my terrible state with the chip of 10. What a ball that is there. And the first time volley in the top left corner. Or bottom left, where you want to refer it there. Middle of the goal, let's just say that. But what a finish, Pep Fiumin.
I said this final could be a little bit easier for going to be in Man City. You never know. We're a starting team. And the experience in the team we've got with Dybala being a World Cup winner, Tony Cruz being a, about four or five time World Cup, a World Cup Champions League. I'm just trying to concentrate, to be honest, but a Champions League winner, I suppose. And on the ball here, good save from Kevin Trapp. I think that could be it, though. Dybala. Unbelievable that from Dybala. Does really well. Could get one more, to be fair. Tony Cruz could be through on goal. Can we get a ball to Dybala, perhaps? Not going to allow it. And I think that's going to be it, ladies and gentlemen. Is that going to be the whistle? It is! Challenge has been completed. Jose Mourinho won the Champions League in 2003 or 2004 season. And we have done it today in 2024 on this career mode. He has made history once again. And for me to come back to Porto and did what he did back then. But in the present day now, makes him the greatest of all time. I'm going to say it. Absolutely unbelievable. It's by far as well. The player out of this whole Atari career mode has got to be Boniface. Goals in the semi-final against PSG's and goals on the biggest stage and more in the Champions League final against Man City. We have done it. We have done it. I was very surprised, to be honest. I mean, how lucky we got with the simulation of the candy year against Barcelona, Real Madrid, and then the Champions League semi-final against PSG on the penalties after that ridiculously intense game. And then this. If anything, the final against Man City was the easiest. I'm going to say it. But there's Paolo Dybala. Had a quiet game today. Should have scored after my massive error. But there it is. The Champions League has been raised high for the Portuguese in Porto today. It's going back to Porto. Unbelievable from Jose once again. Like I said, challenge has been completed. Unbelievable scenes. We continue on. So here it is in the celebrations. This time... It's for the Champions League title with Jose. Unbelievable. I can't really believe it. I'm going to say it. I'm literally repeating myself. I'm like a bloody cassette player, but unreal. Like I said, I was expecting this to be a three or four season challenge, but I really wasn't expecting that to the end of simulation. I was caught off shock to see the semi-finals and then just pushing through the PSG game. I had to play that. I was unbelievable limbs. And we have done it. The Champions League is coming home to Porto. Thanks to Jose Mourinho and his tactical masterclass. It has been confirmed. He's not the GOAT. I'll refer my statement. He is the special one. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen. There is the challenge completed. Let's have a look at some of the players in the team, though, and look at their statistics throughout the season. Let's have a look at Everson. Absolutely dangerous as well. Same with Darbar, 16 and 14. But the main man, 35 goals for Victor Boniface. 23 goals in 33 games in the Portuguese league. But look at the Champions League. 10 goals in 13 appearances and 2 goals in 2 appearances in the Portuguese League Cup run. Unbelievable. Could he get the Ballon d'Or? Could he get the Ballon d'Or right there? And he's also got the friendly games as well with 2 goals. Saliba, unbelievable with 2 assists. Joe Mori had a really good season as well. 7 assists. Same with Medina. Same with Tony Cruz. Absolutely unbelievable. Before we finish it off though, let's have a look at the stats for Jose Mourinho. As you can see here, one club one league title, one domestic cup, and of course, the Champions League in the Continental Cups there. Our biggest transfer fee was 70 million, which I believe was either Saliba or Dybala. I'm not too sure right there. Our biggest win against 4-0 against SV Braga throughout the season. And our biggest loss is a 4-0 defeat to Arsenal right there. But we've played 99 games, 61 wins, 20 draws, and 18 losses. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen. There is the Jose Mourinho back to Porto special completed within two seasons with three trophies to our name. If you did like this video, ladies and gentlemen, and want to see more specials in the near future, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.